for stopping by. Today I have a, another box opening video. And the package is from Dynatron. And there's their web address. Uh, Dynatron-corp.com And let's get to the opening. And they ship their stuff. Let's get the see here. Almost a double thickness cardboard. And today we have the EVO Evolution 11 CPU cooler. There's the front of the box. Uh, here's a couple information, some information right here on the front. Uh, on the side gives you a description, the features, uh, what it contains in the package, and shows you the airflow. <clears throat> See um, some of the features, multi-platform performance, uh, cooler suitable for Intel LGA uh, 1366 or LGA 775. And AMD, AM2, AM2 Plus, AM3, high performance cooling solution, up to 1300 watts CPU. Uh, let's see here, seven high uh, transmitted six millimeter diameter heat pipes, uh, high quality crystal black, 100, 120 millimeter or 12 centimeter fan, um, energy saving. PWN function, fan saves up to 30%. Power, and vibration rubber screws, easy to uninstall fan, or easy uninstall fan becomes a uh, passive uh, cooling solution. And um, uh, pre-screen uh, thermal grease, thermal compound, already on the uh, cooler itself. Let me move the box out of the way. Uh, on the back, uh, just gives you basically uh, some key features on the side here as well as picture of the fan so basically you know here's one tells about one uh, the the fins of uh, the fan uh, the seven heat pipes um, uh, the fan again actually the top fan was the anti vibration screws uh, the um, that the thermal paste is already installed and uh, the PWM fan uh, connector uh, and then on the side here's the specification on uh, tells that uh, it's for Intel Core i7 uh, 1366 Core 2 Extreme, Core 2 Quad, Core 2 Dual, Pentium D, Pentium 4, Celeron D, and Celeron, and then AMD Phenom 2X4, uh, AM3, uh, AMD Phenom, uh, AM2 Plus, Athlon 64, uh, FX, AM2, Athlon uh, 64X2, AM2, uh, Athlon 64, and Sempron. Um, the overall dimensions are 122 uh, by 108 by 157 millimeters uh, in um, length, width, and height. Uh, it weighs 688 grams. As uh, the heat uh, sink material is aluminum. The heat pipes are there's seven of them and six millimeter diameter. Uh, the fan dimensions are 120 by 120 by 25 millimeter. Uh, voltage is 12 volts. Um, Starting voltage is 7. Speed is uh, between 1000 and 2200 RPM. The noise level is 19.38 to 36.50 uh, decibels. Uh, the airflow is 36.64 to 80.60 uh, CFM. Um, let's see air pressure, uh, bearing type, sleeve bearing, uh, rated current. Um, 0.10 to 0.36 amps. Uh, power input is uh, 
4.32 watts. Uh, lifetime is 40,000 hours. Uh, and uh, power connector is the four four pin PWM function and takes you back to the front and let's open this up and see what's on the inside alright on either side of the box on the left and the right and the bottom there is a security seal and if I could just cut this here let's open this up and see what's on the inside We have the AMD bracket, we have the Intel LGA 775 bracket, we have the Intel 1366 bracket, we have four screws to mount the brackets to the base. We have the instruction manual, the installation manual, basically installation for LGA 1366, LGA 775, and AMD, and it gives you um, a brief little picture of way that the air should flow from the RAM out towards the back of the case, and in this plastic wrapper. We have the heat sink with the thermal compound already installed on there. We have a sleeved power cable. We have the 120 millimeter fan. The heat sink. So there's four exposed pipes and You can see in there three pipes on the inside for a total of seven copper pipes and they are six millimeters in diameter and there you have it the Dynatron EVO 11 CPU cooler thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and I will have a review and install video to follow. Thank you for watching and have a good day.